Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. I am Courtney Grayton and I am here with another video. As you can tell by the title, I am going to be doing my first retwist on a client of mine. I started her two strand twist starter locks about a month ago. And yeah, so we're gonna get into this content. Y'all let me know below if you like this and because I have clients all day, every day, I will keep these videos coming y'all. Stay tuned. Alright, so first things first is always the cleansing. All of my services start with a wash that includes two shampoos and a conditioner. I'm just making sure to go in and loosen up all of the dandruff, the dirt, the flakes, whatever could be on her scalp from her not washing it in four weeks. Um, a lot of times clients will normally wash their hair every two weeks or so so your scalp kind of takes some time to get adjusted to not being washed as often as you can see the second shampoo lathered up a whole lot more which means that her hair is getting very clean and i'm just going to go in and make sure i'm doing a thorough wash here's her hair after i washed it she has two strand twists, so you can kind of see some of the two strand twists in there, but you'll see as I go, that will soon kind of fade away a little bit. So I go in and section a few times. I like to kind of section it off so that I don't have to keep clipping, clipping, clipping every single row. So here I'm just separating it gently so I can kind of remind myself of where the parts were that I created a whole month ago. So I go in with my rat tail comb. I like to use um, a comb that kind of has that precision tooth at the top that allows me to get in there with either side of the comb, whether it's the rat tail or the teeth of the comb. I'm typically in the back of clients hair is where you'll see a lot of unraveling or just kind of like separation within the lock so you'll see that in this row and that's why I'm able to go in with my rat tail comb and literally recreate a part even though it's kind of not as defined as locks I can still see the four that I created last time just going to use those as guides to recreate these parts You'll see me kind of going back and forth to make sure that all four parts will be the same size. In this back row, I like to make the locks just a little bit bigger because your hair tends to be finer back there. And you want to make sure that you have a solid foundation for when these locks start to mature and get heavier. I typically use the comb for maintenance on starter locks. It just helps me to have better control. And then I'm using the wrapping method and clipping the lock twice. Once at the root and then once down at the bottom to stretch it out. Naturally, since her hair isn't super budded yet at all, it wants to shrink completely up. And so clipping it will allow me to stretch the hair and then also hold it tight as it dries. Listen, I already know that I'm going to get so many questions about the products that I'm using. And please do not worry. I will be sharing my favorite products in a very detailed video that's coming. I will not be sharing any information in this video about the specific products that I'm using. But I will tell you that I make sure to pick products that do not have any product buildup. You can tell even from the install of this client's hair that I did four weeks ago. Her hair is now free of all any type of buildup there's no product buildup and um so i make sure to use products that will melt down as soon as my client gets under the dryer and that heat melts the product down and it's very clear and it's very lightweight so we don't have to worry about any of that definitely make sure you're subscribed and that your notifications are turned on so you do not miss a video and especially that video it's very highly requested and I can't wait to bring you that information. So at this point, I have kind of solidified that straight part on my second row. 
I'm just going in with that comb and cleaning up the parts that are already there. We just need to make them more pronounced. Making sure to put just enough product that smooths it out, but not too much where the product's caked up on the lock. And I like to, especially with my starter locks, to clip all of the locks down together and again like i said to stretch them out but then to also hold them in place as they'll want to coil up as i move down the lock you'll see me using the wrapping method as i mentioned before and again that helps to control the frizz and also to help the lock mature and bud faster many of my clients who get the two strand method are super surprised when they see that the two strand look doesn't last for too long and it's literally because I use the wrapping method. And again, it just helps to make the lock bud faster. And this is why a lot of my clients see like exponential <laughs> maturation of their locks. I'm talking, I've had clients who have locks that seem very mature by four to five months.
So as I near the end of this video, just wanted to pop back in and really thank you all for the support that you've been showing to my channel. I am so excited to continue to see it grow and I'm really trying to hit 10k subscribers before the end of the year. So if you love this content and you want to see more of it, definitely go ahead and subscribe so that can bring me closer to this goal. If you've made it to the end of this video, honestly, you've done enough um, and I would love to see you stick around to get the rest of this content that's coming your way. I have clients all day, every day, and I've been told that it's satisfying to watch. So I'll keep it coming. Y'all just let me know. Make sure you let me know. So here's the finished result. I'm just going in with a light oil spray to give her some shine and further seal in all the moisture that we've put in today. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video.